Well, now that the state house is done doing all that they had to do before the April 8th, which turned into the April 9th adjournment date, it is now time for uh, elections. And the first election coming up is the primary election June 28th before the November general midterm election. All state house seats are up for grabs and statewide constitutional offices are up for grabs as well. That includes governor, treasurer, attorney general, secretary of state. Uh, so we'll be uh, monitoring all of these various races uh, as we get closer to not just November, but first the established party primary between Republicans going against Republicans and Democrats going against Democrats and the race for governor. Uh, it's going to be a competition. There's obviously eight, nine different Republicans that are vying for the Republican nomination. And on the Democrat side, you've got incumbent Governor J.B. Pritzker. But joining us here with Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, I'm Greg Bishop. And we're talking now with Beverly Miles, a Chicago area nurse who is challenging Governor J.B. Pritzker in the Democratic primary. Beverly, thanks for taking time. What's the latest with your campaign? Good morning. Hey, Greg, thank you for having me. Um, I just survived the challenge on April the 7th. I was able to um, secure my signatures back. I was challenged. Um, I turned in 6,450 signatures. And according to J.D. Presker, that I had a lot of fraudulent signatures. And they um, challenged me all the way down to 1,650 signatures, but I was able to get enough signatures back to um, put me back in a race. So you uh, are going to be on the ballot. They have yet to certify the entirety of the ballot as they work through a lot of these various challenges. So we'll definitely be watching that closely. Uh, but uh, when you were out there getting all of your signatures as a Democrat looking to challenge the incumbent, of course, um, you talked with a lot of people. What were some of the constituents saying out there uh, when it comes to supporting you uh, and your ballot initiative uh, to get on the ballot to challenge Governor J.B. Pritzker? Well, a lot of the constituents was telling me that, you know, we needed new talent here in the state of Illinois. They were excited to see that a woman was vibing for the seat and um, and everybody is just looking for change all the way around. So what would a Beverly Miles administration look like? A Beverly Miles administration would look like the working the working class. And as I've, as I've said before, the state of Illinois comprises of 99% of the working class and 1% of the billionaires. And I think the governor's administration should represent that. We're talking with Beverly Miles, a Chicago area nurse who is challenging Governor J.B. Pritzker in the Democratic primary. Uh, so there will be a choice for people who pull a Democrat ballot come June 28th. Um, Beverly, we've talked before um, uh, about just the uh, the enormity of the of the race. Uh, Governor Pritzker's put in. Uh, I don't even know how much money now. Uh, tens of millions of dollars of his own funds. Uh, to get the message across uh, on on TV, on on social media, uh, how do you plan to get your message across, uh, considering how much money the governor has uh, to to spend on political campaigns? Greg, you know I'm not going to um, focus on the money that JB Prisco put into the put 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 into the race. Um, I've been out. I've been downstate several times. I've been to Peoria. Um, I don't have the money that J.B. Prisca have, and I'm not going to be um, fooled by that. However, people in the state of Illinois are sick and tired of saying that they're sick and tired. And people in Illinois is looking for a different choice, and I want to be that different choice for people. So I've been out talking, um, communicating with different people, and hopefully now that I'm working out the final end of the challenge, hopefully a lot of people will get to see who Beverly Miles really is. Again, we're talking with Beverly Miles. She is a Democrat, an area uh, Chicago area nurse, also a, a U.S. Army veteran, uh, right? And uh, talk a bit about more your background uh, for people who are just now hearing about Beverly Miles, who's challenging Governor J.B. Pritzker in the Democratic primary. Um, as you mentioned, I am a double master's prepared nurse. I've been a registered nurse for more than uh, 20 years. I served in the United States Army. I rose to the rank of major. I am from the west side of Chicago. I still live on the west side of Chicago. 
I am a concerned citizen who decided to do something about it. And I chose to run for governor to give the people of the state of Illinois a choice. Beverly, we've, of course, seen uh, the legislature pass a budget uh, and a whole host of other things. They also passed some measures dealing with crime. Um, of course, uh, it depends on, uh, you know, if, if if the Democrats are talking about it, they'll they'll say they're they're working hard and Republicans say that the measures are too soft. Where do you stand on the issues of crime? What needs to be done uh, to to combat crime in the state of Illinois and in particular uh, in Chicago and the suburbs? Well, I mean, everybody is talking about it, but I really don't believe tangible solutions have been put in place because if you look at it, crime pays a lot of money. A lot of people are getting paid off of crime. <clears throat> and I think if we can start by putting resources in these blighted communities, not only in Chicago, but across the state of Illinois, we put those resources in the community where people can either take care of themselves, have a thriving community. And I just think not only with, with that, with um, education and um, and mental health related services, all of that equates to violence. So if we can start putting money in education, reopen the mental health facilities, um, come up with some drug diversion programs, and just put all of that together, I think we can get way ahead of the crime. But if you look at it, the penal system is growing, the prison systems are growing, the legal systems are growing, the funeral home are growing. Everybody is making money off of crime. So I truly do not believe the billionaires are really looking at combating crime. Beverly, if people want to get more information about your uh, candidacy uh, and to, to stay up with what's going on, uh, where can they find that? Beverly Miles for governor, the number four, governor.com. I so, can also be reached at area code 773-870-9855. So again, uh, Beverly Miles for governor.com, and that's the number four. Uh, Beverly Miles, I imagine we'll talk again in the near future. Greatly appreciate you taking the time with us this morning. Thank you for having me. It is the WMAY Springfield Morning News.